Well, hello again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to start a Linux challenge. Now, having said that, I am going to dual boot. I will have a Windows 10 install just for, you know, Call of Duty or whatever. But I want to do um I want to do Linux as my main desktop for a while or my main OS, I should say. And uh I've chosen uh KDE Neon. Um, it has Plasma 6. I want to try Plasma 6 out and see if I like it. So uh, stick around and uh, let's get this installed and we will start this uh, Linux challenge. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, Balena Etcher and we're going to flash from a file and we'll grab the Neon and open it. Uh, the target is uh, going to be my little Kingston drive here and we shall select it and flash all right so in the meantime uh i have a uh i have another nvme drive a one terabyte i'm gonna put it on a on a pci express uh expansion card and then just uh, stick it into one of my open slots on the computer and this is what i will be booting uh the kde neon from so once the flash is done, I will bring you back into a finished install. Um, you guys have all seen me install Linux many, many times now. So yeah, let's just do that. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to install Steam because definitely will be some Steam games. I'm going to uh, install some kind of uh, video editing software because the, the whole idea of using Linux daily is I'm, I'm going to literally use it for what I normally do. So I'm going to pick a video editor that's not what I'm using in Windows and we'll go from there. Uh, I haven't obviously got there yet, but the plan is to edit this video in whatever software I pick. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, here we go. We are booted into the system. Uh, I have done two things. One, I installed OBS so I could actually record this. And two, I installed the uh, official uh, NVIDIA drivers using the um, Ubuntu driver utility. That's it. So, yeah, here we go. We got a welcome screen. And I don't know. It's just, you know, whatever, blah, 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 all that, all that, you know, fancy stuff. First things first, though, what the hell is this background? Like, no, can't do it. So let's get rid of that. And let's see if we can find something that actually, you know, makes sense. That's not, that's not too shabby. It's kind of dark. Okay, so there, there's a, oh, let's apply that. Um, let's go see what our display is doing since I've updated the driver. Uh, I do have two monitors. So let's set my main screen to 144. Keep. Okay, set to 144 hertz. That's awesome. Okay, what next? I'm going to go pick some icons and stuff and, and maybe maybe a theme. And then I'll come back uh, once I have something picked. And uh, yeah, then we'll just move on. Okay, I think I found a desktop wallpaper I like. I did end up going with that, um, with that uh, oxygen theme. I think I kind of like it. I did fix the uh, rounded corners on the taskbar. Um, that's just uh, that's just done right here. You just turn floating off, so that's pretty cool. And you can also set your position and translucency and all that stuff as well. I may I may mess with this later, but uh, and eventually I'm gonna probably have. I'll probably have some like telemetry data on left or right of the screen or maybe even on my second monitor. I'm not too sure. Just, uh, just, you know, information about the computer, fan speeds, temps, stuff like that, right? Network usage, you get it. 
So yeah, next thing we have some updates. Uh, so yeah, updating is as easy as clicking the update button and I'll just click update all. And then, uh, yeah, that'll do that. Okay, so it wants to restart. I will be right back. And I think what I'm going to do is let's get Steam installed. And uh, I want to try getting um, a game I'm getting back into is um, DayZ. I want to see if we can get DayZ running. As far as I know, it should run just fine. But I may have to install, um, I may have to install a third-party tool to find servers to play on because I think it's broken in-game. But that's fine. So I will uh, restart and then yeah, let's do Steam. Okay, let's get Steam. So for Steam. Um, I've had issues with, uh, flat pack before just odd glitches or games didn't want to run or whatever. Uh, I know nothing about snap, so I think I'm just going to do a native steam install and, oh, cool. Dependency resolution failed. That's just wicked. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, why so for that? Hmm. Okay, I don't really want to do a flat pack. Let me uh, do a quick little Google search and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, that seems to have worked. I just did a quick Google search and apparently we needed the uh, i386 multi arch enabled. So I just did these three commands over here, which all went well. And Steam is now installed. So there you go. I realize that for some people, this is already too much. Like Windows users that want to move to Linux. This, this would have been like, no, I, I can't do this. But you know what? It's really not that bad. So, games, there's Steam, it showed up in the list, so let's run it. I guess I can just close all this stuff for now, because I don't need it. Here we go, Steam is firing up, as it should. Okay, we are signed into Steam, so let's go to Library, Daisy, and it's not available, so we need to go to Steam, settings compatibility and turn it on for all games and then restart steam okay library daisy install all right okay so i'll just get this installed fast forward through it or just cut to when it's actually installed and i don't need a desktop shortcut Okay, here's Steam. It's up and running. I've got uh, Daisy is installed. So on Windows, I actually uh, didn't I didn't connect to uh, the uh, online servers using the Daisy client itself. I used the Daisy AL launcher. So um, because you can't connect to um, online servers in Linux through the client, you have to use a third party. So for me, it's actually no different than Windows because I wasn't I wasn't connecting to this to online servers through the Daisy client anyway. So on Linux, we have this uh, D uh, DZ GUI, and yeah, it looks a little different than um, Daisy AL, but in essence, it's exactly the same thing. So I have a server that I connect to in here. So I'll just double click. And it will start getting the game ready to run. Okay, and then you'll see that uh, Steam is launching. Or not Steam, sorry. You'll see that Daisy is launching. So yeah, there we go. There's uh, Daisy 
running in Linux. Um, I've got the uh, frames per second counter in the upper right corner. So uh, currently, I believe I'm running um, VSync. VSync is enabled. Yep. So you can see that I'm not quite running the same uh, refresh as my monitor. So, you know, it's 120, 130. Sometimes it'll, like, if you go inside, you know, obviously it's less to render. So it's basically doing the same refresh rate as the monitor in certain places on the, in the game. But yeah, there you go. There's Daisy running. So that's currently the, the game I'm playing right now. So I at least have that in Steam or in, uh, not Steam, in Linux. And you know what? It performs quite nicely. No, no issues whatsoever. Okay, so the next piece of the puzzle here um, for uh, app equivalents on Linux is uh, is a video editing suite or with video editing software. So in Windows, I use um, I use a product called Cyberlink Power um, Power Director. It's a fairly cheap and easy to use video editing software. So I need to find something um, for Linux. So uh, I was sort of doing some research and it seems like um, a product called Shotcut might be what I'm looking for. So let's get that installed. All right, so I did install a thing called Caden Live, and uh, I, I haven't fully learned it yet. I still have a long way to go. So I, I actually ended up just booting back into Windows to, um, to edit this video, but I definitely will be spending time on Caden Live and, uh, and, and learning it, because I think it'll do exactly what I need to do. But yeah, I just needed to get this, uh, this video out. Uh, oh yeah, also you might notice that, um, oops, I went and, I've got some telemetry um, things set up, um, just some basic stuff, so CPU frequency and temperature and uh, storage device um, information, total space and how much is currently used, and I've got some information on my memory and I've got some information on the video card. Uh, I may tweak this or add some more or completely change this out or whatever, but this is kind of what I was thinking, some sort of telemetry data about my system on the on the side. Um, I, I do run two monitors, so I could actually move this over to my second monitor, so if I'm gaming, I can just look up and see. Yeah, and then of course on the Windows side, you know, I, uh, I, I do a lot of YouTube watching, so I mean, honestly, that's in the browser, there's no app required there. Um, I also would connect to my uh, network attached storage, which I haven't done yet because I still have to uh, I still have to set up my my connection right here. I haven't actually set it up yet, so I, I have to give this a manual IP address, and then I should be able to connect to my server with without issue. But so yeah, there we go. I got a I have a good start on using Linux. I've got kind of the major points. Um, taken care of, like the Linux alternative to what I was using on Windows. So far, this is uh, pretty stable. Um, I haven't had any anything, you know, go wrong with it yet. It's only been two days, but still, you know, it's nothing right out of the gate. I set up window transparency, so when I drag, because I kind of like that, that's pretty neat. Yeah, and I've also got uh, Discord up and running in Linux, and that's totally fine and I've got an email client installed and configured with uh, with the email addresses that I use so all in all um, quite a positive experience um, nothing that I think even a, a novice would have a hard time uh, overcoming but I guess your mileage uh, will vary on that uh, front thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you think I'm worthy and uh, we'll see you in the next one.